Okay, so I decided to set up the mutagen formula because I haven't beaten it with Captain Marvel Aggression yet. Um, and I have beaten Ultron. So that was the thought process behind that. Um, and it's all set up. It's set up with Masters of Evil. So it's not a particularly difficult um, encounter set, but it can cause some significant issues, particularly with mutagens, shenanigans with drawing extra cards. But let's see how we go. Uh, Valkyrie turn one is just stupidly good. I don't like most of these other options. I'll probably hold on to this because it's okay. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't think I hold on to counter attack just yet. I want to dig for better options if I can. Okay. This gives me this as an option to play this, which immediately kills that, which is pretty good. And then set up an enhanced thing for next turn. Enhanced physique for next turn. Uh, let's start by drawing a card with Captain Marvel's ability. Okay, never mind. I'm going to play a Queen Carrier instead. Um, so, let's pay. Three for a Quinn Carrier. One, two, three for Valkyrie, triggering her ability with the kicker to instantly kill the brawl. Uh, Valkyrie might as well attack for two. There's no real reason not to. Um, I'll flip into Hero because I want some damage on me, and then I will fraught for two, and I'm going to discard that at the end of the turn. Hopefully I don't get attacked too many times, but I do have a Valkyrie to block if it gets really ridiculous. And I have this to heal one for a uh, heal one and draw a card next turn. So I'm gonna have six cards no matter what. So that's pretty good. So we place one here. I'm getting attacked. There's no way I block here. Because I can't stop the damage and stop the threat from going on here. So I'll just take it. Only two. There's a lot of zero threat cards, uh, there's a lot of zero boost cards, or, or effectively zero boost cards in Goblin gimmicks, uh, in Mutagen formula. So this isn't really that uncharacteristic. And this is a really good card to draw right now. Uh, that stuns me though. That's going to be awkward. That's going to be awkward. I got answers for this one at least. Um, that is also going to be awkward, just in case you were playing along at home. Uh, I don't really need to worry about the physical here, so what I could do is kill Tiger Shark before it becomes a problem. These, these have the same stat line, so I think killing Tiger Shark is the better one using like Relentless Assault and Valkyrie. Oh, uh, actually, let's start by drawing a card and healing one. Okay, that Yarnborn looks pretty good. Let's play the, use the counter attack to play the Yarnborn. Okay, can I get rid or can I play this? Yes. I can play this and use a Yarnborn trigger. And I think that's... Okay, let's do... For... Not for what's done, remove stun. Seems like the way to go first. Let's go Relentless Assaults here. Triggering Yarnborn. 
allowing me to kill Tiger Shark. I just don't want him to get the tough token ever. And I can afford to whittle this down over a couple turns. I believe. Uh, but I will... Yes, that was an attack here, just in case you weren't following. Um, I will flip. I will draw a card. I will hold on to this for next turn, and I'll discard this. Okay, so I place one here, because this doesn't have any tokens or anything on it. Like, no, acceleration token icons. This will fought for three. And this will go up to four. So that puts it up to exactly seven. I have a goblin in front of me, so this will just flip and have four on it. That's a little unfortunate. I would have liked to not flip that if I at all possible. Oh well. There's a worst guy talk. That is good. I don't want to get hit by that. That is bad. Um, exhaust each ally you control. Okay, that's fine. She's not doing anything this turn anyway. Uh, so it's just 2 plus 2, so 4. That's not great still. <laughs> um... Okay. What are my options? Probably take this hit this turn, block that with that. Um, I think that's probably the best option here. I think I really need to do the Crisis Indiction. Um, and I don't need a book threat on that when I'm using this counter thing here. Huh. Okay. So, I need... This is a turn that I really need to work out what I'm going to do. First up, before I do anything, I'm going to use Coward Invisibility to draw one card. Okay. That really increases my options. Realistically, I only need to attack this for two. Because I could two and then I could Yarnborn to kill it. I'm pretty happy with using this as a draw and a heal. That is a very valuable option. Um, okay, I'm going to set up Cosmic Flight. If I Crisis Indiction, I don't have a lot of cards left. I could play a Hulk. Oh, I need to keep one for... I can't play a Hulk, because I need to keep one for the... Yeah, so if I cross this Indiction, that costs these two. I need to keep one for the... Okay, yeah, cool. This is what we're doing. I'm attacking here, and I am using Yarnborn to kill Monster. It has to happen. I need to get rid of this before that shenanigan starts really affecting me. Um, now, next up, we play Crisis Indiction, allowing me to remove this, and two off this. Okay, that'll help us stay in the game, although I kind of wish I kept the Spider Woman. But I'll also play the Alpha Flight Station, which I'm 100% just not using this turn. Uh, and that will put us in a much better position going forward. And the whole board is clear. That's the important thing here. And I can set this up next turn and maybe go for that. We'll see. Uh, let's flip up. I'm being attacked. I'm blocking. Cool. Oh, it goes away. And then I get one card. The fact that I killed all the goblin minions is quite good right now because I need to get rid of that next turn. I don't have a crisis indiction to make it work, but maybe I can find one. Crisis. I keep saying indiction, but it's interdiction. Um, there's not one in the deck. I don't have anything to, left to heal. 
So I guess I just brought for two off here. There's no way I flip with the fret being the way it is. So that's not a thing. What about discarding a card? Uh, let's discard the uppercut to draw a card. I'm not going to play get over here. Uh, I could just spend... Oh, I don't want to spend all the energy just in case I get the energy channel because I'm pretty sure there's still one left. Hmm. How do I pay for this? One, two, three. And then I can trigger Yarnborn off that. Yep, so we'll do that. So that's five damage. Draw a card. I don't trigger Yarnborn off that because that allows me to play Photonic Blast. Let's draw a card. Which lets me set up the energy channel. I just don't get to put anything on it this turn. That seems like a pretty valuable turn, although I would have liked to get that counter-attack set up, because I'm about to take a hit. Four four, apparently. <laughs> and a fret. I haven't drawn my hand yet. That's problematic. I'm gonna have to fraught pretty much both of these. Um Okay. Let's fraught here. I think. No, let's cycle a. Let's draw a card. Gaining a hit point. Let's cycle the get over here. Let's draw a card. Okay, that'll help. Oh, maybe I should have done this shenanigans first so that I could have another two of these in the next cycle. Yeah, that was probably a mistake. Um, let's play Mockingbird, who will fraught here for one. Discarding two cards. I'll get that goblin. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to place a fret on the scheme. That's going to be a problem. I don't have any physical to trigger this. Let's... I just got to... I got to play the Relentless Assault. It's got to be done because i got to kill this. I need to remove as much fret as possible. So let's remove two fret. Uh, also, when Mockingbird came out, when that attacked, I should have done that, and when Mockingbird came out, I should have put a stun on here. Um, I'm going to Relentless Assault, and I'm going to hold the Energy Channel for next turn. That'll do that. Okay. Position less tenuous. That is going to be very useful if I survive this turn. Um, that does, just goes away, under fire, gotta hit this card sometimes, cool, cool, none of that's ideal, not even slightly ideal, uh, okay, how do I, how do I do this? I might need that. Let's use that to gain one and draw one. Let's see what we find. Nothing of value. I think I... I think I go all in with like Spider Woman. Uh, put Spider Woman up here. Try and flip back into Carol. Uh... Yeah, yeah, can I kill one of these? Not easily. Um, okay, so 
let's spend three on Spider Woman, which gets a confuse up here. Let's then spend two for Crisis Indiction. Let's then fraught with these two. Uh, let's attack for one here, and then because they're confused, I'm going to flip into Alter Ego, draw a card, discard said card to draw two cards, and then throw both cards onto here to get some value later. Two, three. Okay, this goes up to five. This goes away, uh, and it goes up two more. Schemes, four, so it surges. Ah, uh, doesn't matter, I lost the game. Hmm. Okay, uh... This is a hard scenario, just in general. I don't feel like I had a decent control of it. I probably just shouldn't have flipped that last turn, but I felt like it was getting away from me. And I, I thought that the risk was worth it. What would the next card have been if I hadn't just lost Goblin Glider? That would have been fine. Uh... Yeah, I had all these blockers. I could have done that instead. Would have been able to block both the attacks. There would have been two less threat on it. Hmm. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Uh, I guess I. I'm going to give this one more go.